welcome everyone to today's unboxing video. As you can see, we have the moon spell box here. So we're going to unbox this together and do a little spell. I can't remember what the spell is this month, so we're going to see what it is. So for those of you who don't know, moon spell boxes isn't a subscription. You get to pick and choose what boxes you want on their website, which is super cool. So I'll leave moonspellbox.com down below if you want to check them out. So it's $9.99 and you get everything you need for a spell. It's super awesome. So I think that's everything we need to know. Let's just get it open and go with it. Let's see. I love how we get this paper with the spell that you can use in your like grimoire, book of shadows, whatever it is you do. <laughs> and here are all the items. Let's take it all out and move the box aside. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I hope you are all doing well. Let's take a look. At, is it like a cleansing? Yeah, space cleansing spell. I love this. I am always cleansing. <laughs> I do tarot readings for those who don't know. But even, you know, outside of that, this cleansing the energy is important. So let's see what it says here for the intentions and the ritual. So... This smoke cleanse will ground and revitalize a space after it has accommodated high energy, such as a party or heated debate. Yeah, other people's energy, uh, even maybe if you're moving into a new place or things have just been a little blah or you're sick or something like that. I just feel like it's really great to uh, have a routine to occasionally do this, and I think this is a great reminder. Okay, so the intentions to clear the air and create calm, renewed, and inviting atmosphere. The ingredients. Let's see what we have. Sea salt, lavender, peppermint, rosemary, and clear quartz. Okay, cool. This will be a little bit differently different than what I normally do. So here we have the herbs. I can see the lavender and the definitely the lavender buds in there. But it, so we have lavender, peppermint, and rosemary. And then we have this nice size clear quartz here. Such a great crystal to have. And then here is our sea salt. So it all comes in this like sachet bag you can um, save, put to the side to store something, like your crystal you get in this, or to use in some future spell work if you want. So love that. And then they always send me the sticker that says thank you. I'm not sure if this is in all the boxes, but it's so cute. <laughs> so let's see what it says here. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit, yeah. So for the ritual, it says begin by opening your windows or doors to give any old energy an exit route. Focus on your breathing and center yourself, calling on your highest good. Set your intentions, making sure they're strong and clear. Okay, then you pour the sea salt into your favorite heat-safe dish. Pour the herbs on top of the sea salt. Hold your hands over the mixture and charge the herbs with your cleansing and purifying intentions. Using a lighter or match, ignite the herbs. Gently blow out the flame, taking care not to blow the herbs out of the dish. Do not leave burning herbs unattended. Allow the smoke to clear old energies out of your space and fill it with cleansing energy as you repeat the space cleansing incantation, either out loud or in your head. Use smoke to infuse the cleansing energy into the clear quartz crystal and leave the crystal in your space to continue to purify it with calm, renewed energy. When the herbs have finished burning and the, sp and the space is clear, dispose of the herbs in the trash outside. So the space cleansing incantation is, now that the excitement is through, the time has come to start anew. Chaos and clutter disappear. The space is now calm, clean, and clear. I love this. I feel like everyone could use this one. <laughs> um, it's always good to uh, clean the space. So normally what I do before I do any spell work is cleanse the space. Um, I My preferred method of smoke cleansing like day-to-day -day, is Palo Santo. I have some sage over there as well, but Palo Santo just smells really good. But I mean, we are using these herbs to cleanse, so we don't really have to do that. Let me get a uh, safe dish. I'm going to open up my back door there is a water fountain outside i live on a small body of water so and there's a, it's like a lake with a fountain in it so it does make some noise i like it but um it's actually really nice for like soundproofing and stuff like that but okay let's open that and then we'll get a little heat safe dish let's see what dish should i oh i have it right here i don't even have to really do much okay i'll just um there's already some stuff in there i'm just gonna 
we have a little cauldron here. So I'm gonna go and just, this is like the end of some incense. Go put this aside and open up the window for the door. So what you need from home, the only things would be a heat safe dish and a lighter. I would think most people have them. You don't need to have a cauldron. You can use anything else that is um, heat safe. Like specific bowls and plates I'm sure you have in your place, but okay. So we began, we opened up the back screen door. <sighs> Such a focus. Yeah, I was going to say breathwork is what helped me get centered. I call in my highest good. I set the intention to clean, cleanse my space of any negative unwanted energy. Now I'm going to pour the salt. Now the herbs. And it says here to put your hands over the mixture and charge the herbs with your cleansing and purifying intentions. My intention is to clear any negative energy, any unwanted energy, any energy that is not mine. Any good spirits and a good energy can remain, but any negative energy, negative entities, please be gone. Mm, smells good. Now that it, the excitement is through, the time has come to start anew. Chaos and clutter disappear. The space is now calm, clean, and clear. I like that again. Oops, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Sound is a good way to clear energy as well. <laughs> you can go around your place with like a bell. Maybe that happened for a reason. All right. I'll say that again now that it's a little bit more smoky. Now that the excitement is through, the time has come to start anew. Chaos and clutter disappear. The space is now calm, clean, and clear. Now I'm just going to cleanse this crystal with that smoke. And I can leave this crystal now in my space to purify it with calm, renewed energy. Now what I like to do is uh, move around my entire space with the burning herbs. Again, I didn't, I'm not lighting this the best. Ooh, it's getting a little hot. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna get another lighter maybe, but I can do this off camera. <laughs> I'm gonna light that and move around um, around my apartment. I like in like getting the corners, doorways, and like little nooks and crannies that sometimes like stagnant energy can gather. I like to do that. But that was our little ritual today. And this is one you can definitely keep using. Maybe do this like monthly around the new moon or another time a month that really, you know, resonates with you. That could be a reminder. Do a little like physical cleaning and space cleansing, a smoke cleanse ritual here. I think this would be a great one to keep with you and yeah, definitely will come in handy again. 
So that was awesome. Thank you, Moonspell Box, for sending me your box. By the way, this was sent to me free for review, but not sponsored. I forgot to say that in the beginning. Thank you all for being here. Definitely check out Moonspell Box. You can see their past unboxings on my playlist here. And you can also check and see what ones are still available on their website, moonspellbox.com. I'll link that down below. There might be a code or something as well. I don't remember what I have, but I always leave everything in the description. But that's it for today, guys. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.